three-fourths of farming, is out on the free market and has known a 21% increase in the per capita consumption of all its produce. You see that one-fourth of farming, that's regulated and controlled by the federal government. In the last three years, we've spent $43 in the feed grain program for every dollar bushel of corn we don't grow. Senator Humphrey last week charged that Barry Goldwater as president would seek to eliminate farmers. He should do his homework a little better because he'll find out that we've had a decline of five million in the farm population under these government programs. He'll also find that the Democratic administration has sought to get from Congress extension of the farm program to include that three-fourths that is now free. You'll find that they've also asked for the right to imprison farmers who wouldn't keep books as prescribed by the federal government. The Secretary of Agriculture asked for the right to seize farms through condemnation and resell them to other individuals. And contained in that same program was a provision that would have allowed the federal government to remove two million farmers from the soil. At the same time, there's been an increase in the Department of Agriculture employees. There's now one for every 30 farms in the United States. And still, they can't tell us how 66 shiploads of grain headed for Austria disappeared without a trace, and Billy Solestis never left shore.